Good morning and welcome to the latest edition of the Say We Are. My name is Erin. And I'm Natalie. This week's episode has stories on the Scholarship Hot Sheet, Reader Showcase, Saber Reads, and the newer edition of Getting to Know Your Teacher. Last month, the CP Lang and Comp English classes put on a unique event for students. On Friday, March 11th, students in College Prep Lang and Comp put on a Reader Showcase for all to see. The Reader Showcase we're hoping is going to be an annual event here at FHS. This is the first year we did it because it gives our students an opportunity to talk about the books that they've read this unit and share that with other students in the school. There's a lot of students here presenting their book booths. This is my book, A Child Called It. We just um, explain some quotes and explain why it's a good book to read. We decided to do it because we think more people should be reading and a lot of times we know that people have a hard time deciding what to read or getting good re book recommendations. So we thought this would be a way for students to tell other students about books they enjoy. The showcase was an all day event and was a major success. This year's showcase will hopefully be the first of many to come. While the Reader Showcase was a great opportunity to learn about more books, let's talk to the sophomore Trevor Shahoney to learn about the book, The Things They Carried, in the newest edition of the Sabre Reads. My name is Trevor Shahoney, and the title of the book is The Things They Carried, and it's by Tim O'Brien. It's a collection of short stories, and they're sectored up into different chapters, and it's basically about Tim O'Brien's life in the war in the Vietnam War and it talks about his experiences and coming home and how it's different for him. This was actually the first book after a while that I couldn't put down. It was just so, I got so involved with it and it was just a really good book. I would recommend it to anyone who likes war stories or just likes a good book. Um, it's really much for anyone. Check back in in two weeks to check out another episode of The Sabre Reads to see what other books students are enjoying. For many of you seniors, college is approaching fast, and so is the time to fill out your scholarships. The scholarship hot sheet offers many monetary benefits for students heading off to college this fall. All of the information that we get, so whether it's from outside organizations, from universities, sometimes we even have private donors that will provide us money, we put that information on the hot sheet, which students can access on our website, as well as come in and get paper copies in our office. Scholarship benefits range anywhere from $500 to $10,000. What we recommend is that students come in or at least look at that scholarship hot sheet at least once a week and we think that helps keep them organized, it helps keep it on their radar throughout the year. There are many other opportunities besides the one listed on the scholarship hot sheet. Websites like Chegg.com, FastWeb.com, and RaiseMe all offer opportunities to earn money for college. We also update students regularly through our Facebook and our Twitter page of the Counseling Department with scholarships and opportunities for college. You can find the scholarship hot sheet on the Saber Slate under the Important Pages section of the homepage. Many seniors are missing opportunities to earn money for college, so get on it. I think senioritis is really starting to kick in for me. I'm getting really lazy in my math class. I wish I was a math wizard like Mr. Nershall. His full name is Christopher Math Nershall. Mr. Nershall uses his TI-84 as a cell phone. The fundamental theorem of calculus is the origin story of Mr. Nershall. Mr. Nershall can divide by zero. Your math books are printed copies of Mr. Nershall's personal diary. The number zero was invented as Mr. Nershall came out the womb. Hopefully that motivated you to finish strong in not only your math class, but the rest of the year too. While Nershall might be a scholar teacher, it's time to recognize some scholar students. Nick is an outstanding student. Being outstanding. He's hardworking, diligent, and really puts his best forth. I can always depend on him to improve others, uh, engage others. So, really, when it comes down to it, Nick is the man. Yes, I am. 
Congratulations to Nick Davis on your excellent performance. I'm Erin. And I'm Natalie. See you next week, FHF.